What's up guys, Antonic here, and welcome back to our Smashing Sunday. Today we're going to be taking a look at Super Smash Bros. 4 Overloaded. Now, um, I don't know much about this mod pack, but it's pretty big. Um, I did download it, and I think it was like about 4 gigs, and it took about 5 minutes or so to actually load the mods, which is a pretty long time. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't really know much about it. I think it might might be like one of the first, uh, one of the first, uh, mod packs, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cool, uh, custom outfits, like we got Granddad there, Mr. M. Don't really know who that's supposed to imitate, but okay, and then we have Mario from, uh, Little Mac, or, uh, Punch-Out, I mean. Uh, where he's the ref. Uh, we got, like, I think there's Green Dad. Yeah, we have Green Dad. Pink Gold Peach. A lot of cool Bowser skins. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the, uh, one of the f very first, uh, mod packs. And so, decided why not take a look at it. And it does have a lot of different custom, uh, characters and outfits. I don't know about stages or music, but, um... It does seem like that there are a lot of different custom uh, characters and stuff. There aren't any new characters, but you know, there's some cool ones like Doc Lewis here. I think I saw Sonic Little Mac. Where is that? Yeah, right there. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty funny. Got Ocarina of Time Link. Uh, and I guess that's supposed to be Gearham, maybe? Gearham Link? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if I don't get these, like, references and stuff. Probably from things that I haven't either played or maybe animes that I haven't watched. I love how we have, a uh, Donald Trump Gandorf. But I feel like most mod packs have that, but maybe this one originated it. I think I saw a Captain America. Yeah, Captain America, Samus, We've got Solix, Fusion Suit. So yeah, a lot of cool different outfits here. Just skimming through them. I think I saw a Travis mod for I think either Lucas or Ness, which is cool. Yep. So I might try him out because yeah, I don't know what's gonna go, what's going on with Mother Four. Um, because if you don't know. Uh, Mother 4 is a fan made game that has been I think like 2008 they've been working on it which is crazy but um yeah it just doesn't really I don't know what's gonna go on like they said that I think it was supposed to come out uh winter of 2015 but now it's almost winter of 2017 and I do follow them on Twitter and stuff but like they don't really say much and apparently they, they want to release a demo or something but we don't know what's really going on with that oh nice we got Ash Greninja there might play as him too so yeah a lot of different cool characters here Probably won't get through all of them, but, um, we got Frisk right there and Sans. Nice. But yeah, I mean, you guys can all check it out, too. Uh, download links in the description if you want to check out some of these mods that I didn't show off. Or you want to just play it yourself. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's enough, uh, showing off. We got Proto Man right there. Um, let's go ahead and start off with, let's go with Doc Lewis, cause why not? See how, uh, he is. Cause Doc Lewis actually makes sense. Where, uh, he's all, like, fat and stuff, and, you know, it kinda makes sense that he can't jump as high. Kinda like Bowser and Ganondorf, but, like, I don't get why Little Mac can't jump high. And have a terrible recovery. But, uh... Actually, I uh, like despite his size and stuff, 
Uh, Doc Loose is actually a really good fighter. Like, if you played the, uh, I forget what it's called. The, I think it's like called Doc Lewis's Punch Out, where it was like exclusive to uh, Club Nintendo, and um, it was actually really cool. And he was actually a really good fighter, <laughs> like that. Even though it looked like I was losing by a lot, just came back with that KO punch. But yeah, if you knock his chocolate bar out of his hand, like he can sometimes put a chocolate bar in his hand and like, if you don't do anything about it, he'll regenerate health. But if you <laughs> knock it out of his hand, he goes crazy. And it's actually hilarious. And I do wish that they make a new punch out game. Cause like, even though people are saying that, you know, uh, ARMS is kind of replacing Punch-Out for the Switch, I still feel like, I mean, Punch-Out has, like, so much personality and, like, so much, I guess, potential and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I do like, um, what's it called, um, ARMS, but, like, I feel like a Punch-Out game is would be like more fitting and stuff because like the one the Wii I absolutely love I love punch out on the Wii it's one of my favorite games but um it's just like arms isn't really the same as punch out like arms is like more of like a 3d fighting game while punch out is just like a 2d one where you can't really move around it's just uh Wow, I messed up there. Um, it's just punching the person in front of you and dodging his attacks, and also uh, waiting till uh, there's an opening, which isn't it for arms. But yeah, I heard that uh, victory music. So I guess there is custom music here. The uh, victory music is the uh, victory music for Splatoon, which is pretty cool. Um. Anyway, uh, who else should I play as? I want to play as that Snake Ike. I haven't played as him, but um, I think he was in the last mod pack. Don't really remember, but I think he was, so I didn't get to play as him, but now I do, because I'm playing as him right now. Unless the game crashes, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, no, actually, I did play as him. I forgot about that. All right, well, I guess I'll play as him again, but this time in 2D. Where, uh, his, uh, sword is like a bazooka launcher or whatever, which is really, really funny. And, um, yeah, I guess Ike is the new snake. I don't know why his name isn't changed to snake. Just like how, uh, there's, like, Proto Man, and there's Travis, and there's, um, uh, Ninten, all those guys. I'm surprised there isn't like a Travis touchdown um, mod for any character. Like there, there should be like one for like maybe Shulk or for um, maybe Ike here. Cause like I feel like Shulk would be have a good uh, Travis touchdown mod just because. Travis Touchdown has like that beam sword. He has that beam katana. While uh, Shulk kind of has the same thing with the Monado. So, yeah, just be pretty cool to see. I mean, maybe there is one. I just don't know about it. Maybe we'll see it in the next Smashing Sunday. But for right now. Oh, wait, did he just say it's showtime? Oh my god. <clears throat> well, that's something new that we <laughs> saw or heard, I guess. That's actually really cool. That's a cool reference. So if you have the snake mod and you do your final smash instead of a great ether, he says it's showtime. I don't know if that was the same thing for the um, other mod that we did last week, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of similar. Oh, actually, all of the sound effects seem like they're uh, snake. So I went, when I did that uh, side special there, also that up smash, it's like Snake's Grunt. So that's actually pretty cool. 
Maybe I just didn't notice it the uh, last week. But um, that's a pretty cool uh, mod. It's not just a visual mod. It's also an audio mod, I guess. Alright, I guess the... Uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> the... Um... Okay, so like the victory music, like afterward, like after the music for the character is Splatoon, but before, like it's actually customized for each character. So I guess it was the victory music for like Metal Gear Solid or something. I just didn't notice it. But, uh, yeah, it's also pretty cool to see. Um, let's see, yeah, let's go with Ash Ninja now. See how he is. If, uh, anything cool or different about him. Because I remember, I first saw Ash Greninja in Pokemon Picross, actually. And then he was, uh, a free, uh, I guess, character in, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Which was also pretty cool. And I think I actually had him on, on my team, on, like, my main team. And I was actually, I had a really good team in Pokemon Sun and Moon. That, uh, I beat Youngster Skamore many times with it. Which, if you don't know, uh, one of my YouTubers that, uh, I'm friends with. And, um, he's a pretty good Pokemon player, and I beat him, I think, every time with that team. When I did, uh, when I played Pokemon Sun and Moon with him. Which is... You know, pretty good. I think I had, like, what? It was, like, the... The Pink Tapu, or whatever it's called. Yeah, the Pink Tapu. They called Patrick Star, because it looked like... Patrick Star's head, or whatever. And then, um... I forget what else I had. I had the, uh, Ultra Beast. The one that's, like... A giant, like, steel machine. And then, um... I think I had Gra Ash Greninja on my team, and then I had uh, some others that I forget. Yeah, I think I had uh, my uh, starter Incineroar, which is uh, Litten's final form. But yeah, it doesn't seem like that there's any, like, custom, like, sound effects or anything for Ash Greninja. That's because I think Ash Greninja just, I think it just sounds the same as regular Greninja. So there really isn't, uh, any, uh, need for custom sound effects like the Snake Ike that we had before. Oh man, I missed him. Alright, right now I'm kind of concentrating. That's why I'm doing somewhat decent, so... Sorry if I'm not, like, commentating that much. Just because, again, I'm trying to concentrate. Wow, I cannot kill this Pac-Man. I feel like a, a good kill mood for uh, Greninja is his forward air, or I guess it used to be, maybe, because of all the nerfs that Greninja <laughs> has had, but um, yeah, I remember killing a lot of uh, uh, different like people with uh, my forward air, because it actually is pretty powerful, but it does take a long time to start up. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I killed at what, 176 or something like that? Alright. So yeah, we won that. And... I guess I'm gonna go play as either Travis or Ninten next. Because those guys are pretty new too. I don't think I've ever played as a Travis uh, mod. Actually, maybe I did. Maybe I... 
forgot about it. But, um, they're actually, like, for Mother 4, like, I actually really do like it, and, like, even though my hype is kind of dying out because of how long it's been for taking to make that game, but, um, there is music out there, like, there's music out there for the game that, um, sounds really good, and, um, sounds a lot like Mother, uh, music, so I really do like that. And I actually listen to some of the music uh, on my free time because it actually is really good. But um, yeah, there's there's been like multiple trailers and stuff for the game. They have like their own YouTube channel, but um, I don't think they posted anything for like a good year or so. I mean, check them out. I don't know. I haven't checked them out like lately, but um. I think they did do an update on like their Twitter not too long ago saying something maybe responding to a fan or something like that cause like there's a lot of like I guess fan support for Mother 4 like a lot of people are like having like fan art for the characters and stuff and um you know there's a lot of support for Mother 4 but yeah there really is no um, news about it for a while. God dang it, I can't get that. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I tried to knock it out of him. And I'm dead. I really wanted to see what that uh, victory animation though was. Or not animation, but sound effect. Cause like for Link here, it's a bit different. I think it's like the music that plays when you get like one of the um, emblems like Din's Fire. I think that's what the music that was playing but I'm not sure. Um, Let's go end things off. Let's see. We got anything for Cloud. Who the heck is this guy? Oh, uh, Mewtwo King. Why is he have a buster sword? I don't know. Um, Let's see. Anyone else? Yeah, let's go play as Mewtwo King. Wait, who's this? Anything? No. Let's see how he is. I bet you it's just like... Is it like an actual image of Mewtwo King? Or is it just like Etika's where it's just a black robin? Because that's like what Etika's thing was. Or just a black robin. Alright, so this one actually it kind of looks like Mewtwo King. I can see the resemblance. Oh wow, it actually has it has Mewtwo on the uh, Buster Sword with the king symbol. Or the crown, I guess. So that's really pretty cool. We also have uh, custom music here. Sounds like a... Okay, so it's actually... It still is custom music, but it's actually song, but remixed. I'm talking about WarioWare though. I actually want a WarioWare game to be on the Switch. And I kind of, I want um, one to switch to be that. Like I want one to switch to be somewhat similar to WarioWare or be replaced with WarioWare. But um, instead it wasn't. Ah, I missed, okay. 
And now I'm gonna get lasered here. And I'm basically dead. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I survived. And now I'm dead. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm pretty good with Cloud, but I mean, who isn't? Cloud's like top tier or whatever. But yeah, like I really hope that there's like a WarioWare Smooth Moves 2 or something like that. Because I've actually been playing uh, WarioWare Smooth Moves like recently. And I forgot how like fun that game is. It really is. It's a really uh, fun game to play. Alright, well, I'm dead. Probably if I got that final smasher, at least uh, hit him with that limit break down special, I would have had a better chance, I guess, but nope. Anyway, well, it doesn't really matter if I win or lose, just showing off the mod pack anyway. So, um, anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Download links in the description if you guys want to check it out yourselves. Uh, let me know if you have any mod suggestions of yourselves for Smash 4 or even for Project Dem and stuff. So let me know about that in the comments below. And stay tuned for more Smashing Sundays right here on Tone Nick. Bye.